2020 was a different, uh, an interesting year, Lisa. It was. So I feel like um, I found my feet in very deep waters last year. Mm. So I think probably the thing that I learned the most about myself just myself as a person, not necessarily as a principal, but I learned that I was pretty resilient and I learned that I knew that already, but it, it, it affirmed uh, my resilience. And I also learned that decision making, um, I got better at decision making and I got better at knowing when the decisions needed to be made immediately and when the decisions could be um, thought about for a little bit longer and processed and maybe engaged other people in the decision-making process. So I think that was probably my biggest learning in the fast pace of COVID last year in a new role, new school, all of those things. Do you think that's because it sort of gave you a nudge you, you had to do it immediately? We didn't have the luxury of sort of, you know, how sometimes we, we do our work. Do you think that could have been a driver? I think it was a driver and I and I have reflected often in my leadership in the last few years that sometimes I do make decisions too quickly. I don't take that time to reflect or to ask somebody else or to, you know, come down the ladder and, and look a little bit wider. So I think I had to then discern last year which things I had the ability to be able to take some time on and which things I just couldn't. They were immediate, they were urgent and they needed to have those decisions made promptly. Um, and I think the staff here at St. Monica's uh, needed that and because uh, everybody was feeling so unsure and so um, anxious about um, what was happening in the world. They needed to know that somebody was there making those decisions. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I think, yeah, it was definitely a driver that we, that we had to, but I also had to make that decision as to whether it had to be made or whether I could wait. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Did, did you find it difficult the uh, year? At times, yes. So at times I would have gone home completely mentally exhausted. But on reflection, hindsight's a, a wonderful thing. I think um, I, I, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great response. <laughs> That'll go down in the end, or that's good. Yeah, I I liked it. I like um, I like a challenge, and I liked that it was different, and that it was uh, I was kind of navigating my way myself. I didn't, and perfect in a new school, being a new principal in a new school, I didn't have that previous. Well, that's not how we used to do it. Um, that's not how the previous principal used to do it. We've always done it this way. Why are you doing it differently? So I actually think it did me some favours. So mm. I liked it. It gave me permission to do things differently. You haven't waste, wasted a crisis. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. No, it was uh, it was well placed and well timed. And but I'm done now. I don't need it to continue. <laughs> well, that's a good lead into this year. You know. Has your leadership been affected or changed or enhanced or, or whatever leading the community um, now in, in, in 2021? I think, um, uh, I think I built some credibility last year with the parents as well as the kids as well as the teachers. So I think I'm in a really good position this year to, um, to make more uh, changes that I believe uh, are what we need here at St Monica's. So I think that the credibility that I've gained over the last 12 months um, navigating my way through that year of COVID gave me the ability to make some changes this year. So I think moving forward, that's definitely something that I'll be looking to continue this year. Keep building those relationships. We know that that's, that goes without saying that that's really important. But then to actually trust myself you know, I doubt myself a little bit and, and I wonder whether, because um, you do get a bit of a, a backlash at times, but I think I do have to trust my gut. I know what I'm doing. I know, um, I know I'm in the right place at the right time. So yeah. trusting myself. I think that's one of the greatest issues that you face in leading community, this whole issue of trust. And, and you're right to put it back, you know, not only trusting your community, but, you know, trusting yourself. So, um and the fact that you've got to live with that ambiguity that comes with the trust. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's hard. I'm free to give you gratuitous advice if you like. <laughs> no, no, always welcome. Um, yeah, always well, welcome. That's great. And the smile on your face says that you're enjoying it at least. <laughs> Look, some days more than others. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Um, but I do. I love my job. I, I love it more some days than others. But I can't imagine doing anything else. That's you've just defined leading. That's yeah. what it's like. So congratulations. And thanks very much for being part of the series.